When people think of the Badawa Ski Hill, they may only think of winter fun. The Ski Hill offers programs year-round as well as trails for hiking and biking. On this episode is the communications coordinator for the Ski Hill, Hannah Brown. She shares with us what it was like growing up in Trenton, why she came back to work in the area, and all of the things Badawa Ski Hill has to offer. I'm Nick Ogden, and this is Getting to Know Quinty West. How long have you been the communications coordinator? About 18 months now. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's fairly new. Two, enough to get through two winter seasons right. at the Ski Hill. And how's your initial period here been? Oh, it's been fantastic. Yeah? We could have asked for better weather uh, in terms of winters, but we definitely made it through okay. Mm-hmm. Now, what kind of stuff does your job involve here at the Ski Hill? My job involves anything and everything having to do with communications and marketing. So advertising, event planning, social media, press releases, and then just like everyone on the team here, anything else that anyone needs help with. Right, like a support. Yeah, I've cut fries, you know, I've (laughs) sold lift tickets, anything that needs to happen. What's it like trying to promote something like Badawa Ski Hill that a lot of people might assume when they hear Ski Hill it's only a winter thing, but it's not? I get a lot of friends, family, and others asking me, what do you do do during the summer? What happens then? And the truth is, is that so much of the preparation for next year's ski season starts right now, as soon as the past season ends. And beyond that, we have lots of great things happening here in the summer. The Dino Dig Mm -hmm. uh, is a -a one-of-a-kind facility that we have built by Research Castings, another Trenton business. And so we have a full-scale replica T-Rex skeleton, as well as other dinosaur-related activities that kids can do. Mm -hmm. And we run summer camps, outdoor adventure day camps, all summer long. That's awesome. Now, obviously, the Dino Dig is something very unique, not only to a ski hill setting, but to any business, really. Uh, How long has that partnership been in in play with Research Casting? Um, I think about close to 10 years we've had the Dino Dig now, but it is one of a kind, totally unlike anything anyone else has, and it's free. Yeah. Come bring your own tools for digging and and brushing off the skeleton. Right. We try and make sure, we call him Walter, that's the name of our T-Rex skeleton. We try and make sure he's covered up so everyone who comes gets a chance to to dig him out. And that's a really cool thing. Now, did they approach you to partner with this or did you approach them? I know it's Mrs. Bata. It's definitely her shining jewel here at the hill. That's awesome. So what exactly got you involved with wanting to become part of the Ski Hill team? Was it just a job posting? I mean, absolutely. I saw the job posting. Badawa Ski Hill was one of my clients when I was working as a graphic designer at another Trenton business, JB okay. Print Solutions. Oh, cool. And when I saw this opening, I was really excited because even before I started working here, I always saw Badawa Ski Hill and all of Badawa as being one of the really cool things mm-hmm. that we had here in this area. Mm-hmm. There's the skiing in the winter. That's awesome. And then there's also trails where you can hike and bike in the summer, the summer camps, the dino dig. Mm-hmm. It's just a really great place to get outdoors and get active. Yeah, absolutely. Now, like we talked about earlier, it's not just a ski hill. There's trails there's hiking, there's the dino dig, there's summer camps, you host different wedding uh, parties. Is there ever a down period for Badawa or is it all pretty busy year round? It stays pretty busy. It's differently busy. Mm -hmm. In the winter it's It's really intense and exhausting. And so we're all, right now, we're all not maybe going quite as hard as we were. Which is fair. Yeah, but uh, summer camp comes before you know it. And we have weddings booked through May and June, and then again through September and October. And as soon as you get back into September, October, you're marketing for ski season again, so. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. What are some of your favorite events or or promotions that uh, Badawa takes part in? We started having pub nights this year as part of the, the ski hill in the winter to encourage people to come out. Uh, drink some local beverages like we had local beer wine cider and some cocktails as well so that was really exciting to promote those events this this winter live music Uh, and we're hoping to do some more in the summer as well take advantage of the outdoors and have some outdoor events with live music as well absolutely and this area is great to offer those kind of craft local beers and ciders and wines yeah well we just became licensed in the last year so we saw it as a great opportunity to work with those really local places we had wildcard in here doing a wildcard night with local beer church key from campbellford they came in and did an evening as well as did empire cider from brighton so we really wanted to take advantage of mm-hmm. the local things that we have to offer. Right, and obviously Quinny West is full of these local businesses, these uh, one-of-a-kind services provided. What's it like working with other businesses that really can provide one-of-a-kind service? It's fantastic because we feel that we're supporting you know, other local businesses that are trying to make it, and then in turn they're supporting us, and you're getting truly unique products. We got a bunch of flower arrangements from Dalia May Flower Farms uh, for our Christmas parties. Right. 
and they were beautiful and she's so wonderful to work with and it just feels so great to support other local people trying to make it absolutely and that's an awesome thing to hear that's what businesses in a smaller town want to hear supporting each other uh, a lot of people uh, think about this area solely for the airbase and associate Trenton with the airbase and once they get here they realize that there's so much more to, that's offered to them how do you feel when you hear people think of this area as just another small town and don't really get the big picture of it it's frustrating because there's so many unique amazing things we have access to the water um, we have access you know to all these great trails and outdoor offerings and as well because you know Quinney West and Trenton are such a small small community there's a real sense of community like mm -hmm. heart and and people take a lot of pride in in what they do so that's sort of our why our new tagline for this year was small hill big heart that's we know, cool yeah well, we know we're not the biggest hill and we're not trying to pretend to be but what we really have going for us is is our sense of community and the sense of belonging that people have when they come here mm -hmm. now we talked about some things that Badawa offers what makes the ski hill unique for Quinty West. One of the unique aspects of the ski hill is that we are actually a not-for-profit. We try and keep our prices as low as we possibly can just mm -hmm. to cover our operating costs so that as many people as possible can come out and ski. Mrs. Bata, who is sort of our founder and looks over everything, is really passionate about people being active and getting outside. Right. So it's her mandate to keep everything as inexpensive as possible so that the community can come use it. That's incredible. Now how many people do you find will use the ski hill during the winter season? We get about 30,000 visits or so. Wow. So yeah. that means pretty much every weekend is pretty busy. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on the weather, it's, it's pretty. we stay pretty busy at times. Mm -hmm. Do you find that uh, seasons like this that were kind of a lot less snow than are hoped for by a ski hill put a damper on that? Yeah, it definitely does. And, and people don't realize that even though they might not have snow on their lawn, as long as it's been reasonably cold out, we still have lots of snow here. Mm -hmm. So we had snow every day throughout the winter, even on those days where you thought, no, there's no possible way the ski hill still has snow. We still do, and we're right. still open. We want people to come and take advantage of it. We oh, want absolutely. people to use their season passes and come out for the day or the night. Mm -hmm. Get their money's worth, definitely. Yeah. What's it like for you to be the public face for Badawa Ski Hill? Uh, it's great. I mean, it can be stressful at times, but um, I am truly passionate about what we do here, so I really like it most of the time. <laughs> That's awesome. And now do you find that the people you work with and the visitors that you come in are also passionate about the things that you're passionate about? Absolutely. We have a small team here of people who work year-round, right. and we're constantly brainstorming ways that we can offer more to the public for less money, um, more fun. That's what we want. We want the ski hill to to be around for as long as possible and we want to offer things that people want to do. Right, and besides just working here at the Ski Hill and in Quinney West, you grew up here as well. Yeah, I grew up in Trenton, as did my dad and his dad, so we're, we're real Trenton townies. And what was it like growing up in this area? It was interesting, especially when you're a teenager, you're thinking about how much better it must be everywhere else right. and how you're gonna leave and never ever come back. <laughs> And I, I left for a while and lived in different cities and always found myself drawn back home. Yeah, what really. made you want to come back home? Was it just looking for work or was it the the missing the area? A bit of both. Missing yeah. the area, real estate prices here are, are way more affordable than Very in fair. the city. And uh, wanting to be around family. Absolutely. And what were some of your favorite things about growing up in this area? What were the things that you did as a teenager? Riding my bike. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoy cycling. So having that independence where you can ride your bike around to see mm -hmm. friends and go different places. I love doing that. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you find that because of your love for that, you take advantage of the different trails and the hiking paths uh, that Badawa has to offer? Absolutely. Especially when people who are new here tell me that there's no mountain biking around here. Like, you know, there may not be mountain biking like you're used to in BC, mm -hmm. but there's plenty of trails you can get your mountain bike on with that are, you know, difficult and exciting. Right. Now, like you just said, a lot of people are going to say things, oh, well, this area doesn't have this or this area doesn't have that. What are some other hidden gems that you find you're sharing a lot with other people that aren't familiar with this area? Beaches, like local beaches, mm -hmm. local cycling, for sure. I'm the first one to say, no, no, there's so many great places you can hike and bike and be outside. Those are definitely the big ones that I'm mm -hmm. always on and on about. Right. Now, growing up, now, or not being a teenager anymore, are some of your favorite things about the area similar to what they were then, or have you discovered new things that you love? Uh, a bit of both. I mean, lots of new things have developed here, and the, the downtown core is so much... Maybe, maybe it was always nice, but uh, it seems nicer Right now. I still do lots of cycling. I love 
you know, heading over to Wildcard and having a flight of beer and walking home, like those nearby things that right. didn't exist or weren't accessible to me for are things I enjoy now. Mm -hmm. Now you said that you went away and lived in some other cities before coming back. What are some of the biggest differences you find living in maybe these bigger cities compared to living here? I'm pretty friendly. I'm inclined to say hi to people I see on the street, whether or not I know them. I'm the one who's chatting with people in line at the grocery store about what you know they're going to do with their groceries. And that's perfect that you're in communications. Yeah, So, but I mean people in the city are less likely to have that openness and that real friendliness that we have mm -hmm. in a smaller community. So that's one of the big things that I mm -hmm. enjoy. I enjoy seeing people recognizing them from the hill and then seeing them at the grocery store or at Walmart when I'm doing errands. Right. Um, they recognize me, we say hello. Uh, I really like the sense of community. That's awesome. Right now, are there any plans to expand the services that Badawaski Hill offers? Yes, there are big plans for some expansions that might be announced in the next few weeks. So that's cool. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, what are some of the biggest things leading into a, the summer season? Is there anything special being offered over the course of the summer uh, besides just the uh, summer camps? Uh, well, we're excited to announce the summer camp prices have stayed the same this year, except they also include lunch. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the price of camp. So we know a lot of parents get really sick of packing their kids' lunches over the school year. Absolutely. So Chef Nicholas will be preparing lunch for the kids all summer long. That's incredible. Yeah. Since working here, what are some of your favorite things, whether it's about the services that are offered at Badawa or just even working in the behind the scenes of Badawa that you enjoy the most? I love seeing how excited people get when they're learning to ski. Okay. Yeah. I'm out with the camera a lot in the winter, getting photos, uh, chatting with different skiers and their families and the kids and the adults alike are so excited when they're learning. Our snow school staff are so talented and great with people and they have a lesson and afterwards they're just so excited to be skiing on their own. You know, look at me, I'm going up the chairlift, right. headed down the Black Diamond, so it always makes me so happy. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to Hannah Brown for being on the show and enlightening us about what the Ski Hill has to offer. For more information on the Ski Hill, visit their website at badwaskihill.com. I'm Nick Ogden. Thank you for listening and joining me on this journey of getting to know Quinty West.